Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Did I write down? Uh, an important key is hidden in the guest room. Oh, good to know. Let's turn on some light. And do, do, do. Am I here? exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. God, Daniel, you're so fucking stupid. Jeez. Everyone knows you know, you shouldn't like, play with that stuff. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it, then. Okay. I'm just getting... just getting there for more fire. Trevelyan but... Smith had been marked. There's no way for him to know that 
the young man. God damn it! No, what the? Okay. Well, just one place left to go. Down here. Storage. He flipped through the book of monarchs looking for a change and countered. Nine different kings. Why is there a dot there? Seems like it's whatever. All over Europe had been dis depicted with an orb in their hands. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, monarchs usually with, the, with an orb in their hand, isn't it? What did I write down? Uh, the darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. Yeah, it sure as hell does. Good thing I have way too much oil. What does this say? Equipment. Like this place is way too dark. Seriously, I really don't like this place. Tinder boxes. Gotta get me some of them tinder boxes. I have a closing at all. Like cancels the torches. You know what? I have way I have enough oil to just what's this? Drill pump. <laughs> God, he sees me. Yeah, I'm a ninja. He'll never catch me. He'll never catch me. He'll never catch me. Oh, yeah, he's still coming. What the hell is he? Look at him. He looks, so, he looks like he's smiling at me. I should probably get out of here. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by the, his damned curiosity. What the hell was he? Didn't even get to like look for the entire room down there. Well, uh, let's see. I have the machine room key, so I guess I'll go check out that locked room over here, since that's the only place that was. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Good point. I haven't heard of anyone dying from shame. I think that's just an expression, at least. Gears of War. Bring this with me. I will call you Cock to Cock. It's a horrible name. A horrible person. I'm sorry. God. 5th of July, 1839. 
Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. All right, Daniel. Shut up, you stupid. Oh, cock, you rude son of a bitch. Nope, there are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged to keep the others in the inner study in case all three would crack. Tinderbox bounced. Another cog from Gears of War. Yep, you guys stay here. Try and make a baby or something, I don't know. What's this? 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know, I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Cool. Gears of fucking war. I haven't played like one of those games. Jeez. Need some more oil. What is this shit anyway? Okay, okay, okay. Just go 
going with um, my intuition or whatever you call it. all these stupid notes around all over the place. And, and why does he f know how to fix this shit? Jeez. I need more still for it to work. Huh. Well, uh, I don't know what else it might need, maybe. I just have a feeling it has something to do with this up here. I still don't know what the fuck this is supposed to be. Wait, what does it say? Part of a broken hand drill. these things. I'm gonna go up here. Yeah, hey, I didn't even check this room. Uh, that's not necessary. skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. It's <laughs> probably that one smiling guy from the door. Okay, 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 okay. The note said something about this, so let's see. Okay, uh, just the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. Meters should read up eight, down eight. What meters? I don't see any meters. boxes instead. Uh, nope, it, it's just tinder boxes aren't flexible. Oil is. I can bring oil anywhere. Can't do that with tinder boxes. But I can't bring tinder boxes anywhere, but I can't. I, it's just this area. Yeah. 
think that I can't light up. Oh, I can. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, I know it needs more work. You told me that already. There's not any more in here, is there? what I'm thinking. I did get rushed out of that, um, um, this place, the storage. I think I might have missed something there. 